welcome students to class 11 english classes conducted by your english teacher monica kaur before i start with hornbill i would like you to request please like and subscribe my channel chapter 3 ranga's marriage part 1 students to class 11 english part 1 snap shots chapter number 3 ranga's marriage written by masti venkatesha ayengar this story has a really very very good point first let's talk about the base point and then i will tell you about the author and then about the theme now this story tells us about the two things that the native language and the foreign language this uh, tells us what that uh, we people are not at all a particularly a part of the one thing and language is our what a source of soul that is our strength but if we mix the other foreign language it means that we people are giving uh, that language or that country ahead of us first thing the base point of this is only this thing that language and the imperialism invading the rural settings of kosali a small village in mysore now this story is about that village which is not at all on the map on the map of india although mysore is a very big city as well as a very popular city but then also a part of that mysore kosali is not at all on the map but still that village is being invaded by the foreign language that is called the english okay next is this story is a based of that a uh, village people that's why the uh, that's why the story base is what rustic lifestyle and it uh, as its backdrop means the story the background or the backdrop is on about the simple people of the village okay those who are not at all sophisticated people or we call them the unsophisticated people because they only knew their native language they only knew their native customs and means they are not at all been had been uh, means that exposed to the outer type of the customs this story very well tells us about that now let's talk about about the author of this story this story had a genre of fiction and this story was created by the author in 1910 as a short story and this was his first story when he started writing and this story was in his native uh, language that was called the kannada language okay so here masti venkatesha masti is his Uh, that uh, village thing, and he used to keep that that name with with himself. As his village was popular, so he was also as popular. He had almost received the four times a very very greatest award that is called the Janan Peet Award, award for his his literature part only. Okay. He was born on June six, nineteen, uh, sorry, eighteen ninety-one, in Masti village, and that Masti village is in Kolar, uh, that district, and this Kolar district is nearby the Karnataka. Okay, and it's so surprise for us that his death date was also his birth date only. That he died on June six, nineteen eighty-six, in Bengaluru. Okay, and. he used to write his literature part or his poems or what else with two pen names now what is pen name that you are not using your real name but you have kept your uh, means another name a small name name or a means uh, to recognize to you with your uh, village or with your uh, that city name name that is called the pen name a written name only when you are writing something literature part or a poem where you are using that name that is called pen name okay so his pen name was first was srinivasa 
and another was must see that was his village own name okay so this story was about the two uh, that that is the two generation one was a modern generation and another was a local or a traditional uh, that generation the traditional in that year when this story was being written 1910 a child marriages was not at all a surprise to them it was a custom type of the thing that the when the the children were up to that age according to their custom they used to get married and how this notion was being broken up by the new language or the new influential city education here we will see that so let's go on to the theme the theme of this chapter is about a conflict between tradition and modernity now in this chapter we will got to know it that that the character of this story the main protagonist of the story when came back from the city life he knew that that he would not marry until unless he got the best and the adult uh, that uh, that girl he would not going to marry a young girl not at all and so that's why there was a friction between the traditional and modern ideas okay then elder generation in its influences the younger generation but still this theme uh, or the story tells us what that even if even if our elders are somewhere else are so much gone with the custom somewhere else they they used to found out the way to let the children uh, means use their custom or to have their be in that those customs only so in this chapter also the elders of the that village totally means engage the main character of the story story in their own olden ways of tradition only and that's how he got married even although he rejected to get married at such an early age because of those convictions because of those traditions because of those superstitions that had been created in this chapter i hope students you people have understood this part of the video i'll be coming back soon with my next video by that time be safe good take care of yourself before i sign off students what you have to do yes like share and subscribe my channel and please ring the bell icon to get the other notification take good care of yourself thank you